How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I have for you all how to build the best created player in MLB The Show 20. Now for the most part we have not had too much information on MLB The Show 20's created player in terms of Diamond Dynasty or even Road to the Show. But what we've seen in the years past, the last couple of years is kind of an inning grind along with collection uh, reward as well as uh, kind of just playing online or uh, against the computer with some of these created players you are able to unlock a variety of tiers this version is the catcher and i will be getting into it in depth with the uh, last diamond choice pack just so that way if they do continue to keep this archetype build uh, it's very important to make the right choice because we don't have something in the game quite yet that will allow us to trade in our created player for a different version so this is the contact focus catcher and this is someone who would be very usable in MLB The Show 20 as well as 19 because they made contact hitters a little bit more viable. Uh, these, this guy right here with the equipment added will certainly be effective out there, probably in the 80s power. Uh, for example, this is a balanced created player for catcher. And this is probably uh, the safest route in terms of picking a guy that is going to be extremely good and usable the entire year that will perform like an immortal in years past like a signature series player or potentially like a prospect player early on in mlb the show 20. this is the creative player that i selected i went with the power focused and once i add the equipment hop into a game i will show you the attributes on him i will also include the equipment in this video but I'm going to be focusing on the best build for your creative player and the options that you will have in which I think, I believe, are the best choices for you to add to your Diamond Dynasty team. I think catcher has always been a weak point in MLB The Show where you, if you can have a switch hitting guy with your own swing behind the plate that's very effective, then he will be the best option back there. I think that they will include the creative player if for whatever reason they don't then for this video won't really come into play in diamond dynasty well this will come into play a little bit more in road to the show but at the same time it's going to be more control in terms of upgrading your player in game anyway i wanted to focus on the shortstop as well i did go ahead and grind out a shortstop i wanted to try a contact focused player after I selected the power focused catcher. So even though I have a catcher already, you are still able to unlock more than one creative player, but only one creative player can be used at one time. If you're brand new to the game, this is pretty straightforward. This is something I recommend doing immediately if you're interested in Diamond Dynasty. Uh, this creative player right here is a kind of a newer build that they created in the game. This is a fielding focused creative player and it's a type of archetype that's similar to Ozzy Smith, guys like that. A switch hitting guy that will get into the 90s in contact with the equipment and in the 70s, 80s range for power, but will also have maxed out fielding and great speed. This was, is, was the one I went ahead and selected. This is the contact focus created player. He has a little bit higher contact, a little bit less fielding, but with the equipment added, he will have 90 fielding, which is enough for that diamond badge out there in the field. I think that that's going to be very important in MLB The Show 20. I felt like it was important to add in all of the selections and choices in MLB The Show 19, as well as previous years in this video to kind of compare what they've done in years past if you didn't play those games. But the, the balance focus shortstop and the power focus shortstop are also very good. I think if I went back and, and selected a different type, I would probably go with the power focus shortstop simply because I'm using Honus Wagner and Honus Wagner is very good. He just doesn't have as much power as that creative player would with the equipment added. The only way to check out what your stats are is by going into a game. You can check out this wheel at the pregame loading screen. I've kind of just put together a random team. I didn't want to mess up my pitcher's records by hopping into a game and then quitting out. That will give them a loss. So I wanted to focus on just showing you this wheel. The clutch and discipline attributes are very similar to the screenshot I showed previously with the power focus catcher. Another thing I wanted to talk about in this video is the fact that you can select a pitcher for your creative player. This is something that has uh, been more prevalent in years past. 
Uh, we don't normally see that as much in this year's game simply because the grind is a little bit longer for the pitcher. But you do get two selections. You get a closing pitcher and a starting pitcher for each of the diamond choice packs of this. So this right here is the second selection for the diamond pitcher. We're starting off with the velo focused uh, closing pitcher. As you see, 99 velocity. He has a four seam, a cutter, and a changeup. I have faced one of these pitchers. Uh, BC Reviews has one of these closers. He named him Randy Johnson. And this is a player that is extremely hard to hit. He'll have increased stamina, and these guys are very usable, but it does take away from using a position player that you can use each and every game, every at-bat, things like that in the field. Uh, this is, next build is a balance-focused closing pitcher, and as you can see, this is, might be a better pitcher in terms of attributes, but his pitch selection is a little bit different. I don't think the changeup will go as slow as 72 even though it's depicted up there in the pitch repertoire. I think it comes in closer to 80 miles an hour. I could be mistaken on that, but I really wish I would have grinded at least one of these pitchers out in order to test them out. But I have faced them a few times, and this is the break-focused closing pitcher. He does have a knuckle curve, a changeup, and a two-seam, so he does not necessarily have a four-seam, but in MLB The Show 20, if you're able to get that velocity on that main pitch, then he might be throwing uh, in the you know 98 to 100 with that quirk uh, throw fire. So that's something that's newer into the game. Now we get into the starting pitchers. So you get a, one choice of a closer and a starter. This first starter is the velo focused. And it's kind of interesting because he only has 78 velocity. But he does have pretty good uh, K per nine, which will shrink the PCI, which is the plate coverage indicator for the opponent during the game. This starting pitcher has a little bit more stamina. This is the control focus pitcher. He has 92 control. Uh, it throws a lot slower in the low 90s, but he does have a great change up, circle change, 12-6 curveball, some better breaking pitches, but not as much break. 74 break attribute, which is kind of the average for all of those four pitches. Anyway, um, you'll probably have a couple of those pitches that break a little bit more. But basically, I wanted to focus on the different types of builds, which ones I would go with. I'd probably narrow it down to catching, shortstop, as well as a pitcher. But you can also choose a second baseman. This last pitcher's build is a, a break focus pitcher. I've seen Movie Gaming use one of these guys, and he is very effective. I think that break attribute really helps out. This is the equipment that I've added to my creative player to increase his attributes, as you saw earlier in the video. I think that that's important to add in this because those, those base attributes are set at a specific number. The equipment is what separates your creative player from someone else's online. Here's just another screenshot that kind of shows. I don't have all diamond equipment. I don't feel it's necessary in this year's game. Uh, the arm guard, the wrist guard, or I guess I should say the elbow pad, the shin guard, and the wrist guard only give you one extra attribute if you have the diamond tier. So I don't think it's worth it. My team is pretty good. At some point in this video when I was making this, it changed my creative player, uh, his his appearance as well as his height, things like that. So I kind of had to go back and adjust it. Pablo Sanchez is the best creative player you can possibly get simply because he's a backyard baseball character. That is just something I've, I've kind of uh, named him that over time. I do have a couple other options if I wanted to use a real person behind the plate, but I don't really like Johnny Bench's swing. Pudge is pretty good for me. Jason Kendall's a little bit of a different type of player with more speed, a newer player. But anyway, I like using the creative player. In years past, this is MLB The Show 17. We were able to feed extra cards into our player to kind of make him better. You could also use this type of player at any position. They've kind of gone away from this, which I actually like having the specific build because it limits you a little bit more. But as you can see here, you could feed players and equipment to increase your player's attributes. Once I had equipment added in this game, I was able to have a guy with all 99 stats and it kind of seemed just unrealistic. But uh, I just wanted to include this to show you guys if you didn't play these few years ago, you know, these games a few years ago with some of this equipment and the creative player with the different build system. I wanted to uh, talk a little bit about that. But with this equipment, he was a 99 end game player. I used him at second base. I used him at in the outfield. I used him behind the plate. You can really swap him in and out wherever you'd like. I do like the fact that they've 
gone away from this though simply because we don't really need the unrealis unrealism with the creative player. It's already kind of unrealistic, but I like having the option to create my own guy and kind of move him around. This is MLB The Show 18, and uh, this is also where they started the archetype builds. This is uh, the balance focus shortstop. This is the player I actually chose and created. This is a balance focus second baseman. I also chose this one. And a lot of these attributes are pretty similar to what we see in MLB The Show 19. I would imagine if they keep the same type of archetypes and builds, then we will see very similar players to MLB The Show 20. Hopefully that is the case. We'll know a little bit more with these upcoming streams here talking about Diamond Dynasty, revealing player reveals. But I just wanted to kind of explain to you guys my thought process on some of these types of players. I'm looking to pick a creative player that does not necessarily have a similar player already in the game. So I'm looking to make Ted Williams a catcher behind the plate, use his swing, things like that. And that will certainly help you. Hopefully I helped you in some way in this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. And hopefully you have the best creative player in MLB The Show 20. Peace out.